Providing clean water is one of the most important jobs we do here at the City of Broken Arrow. Hi, I'm Communications Director Krista Flash. Another important job is making sure that when you flush the toilet, the sewage goes where it's supposed to. It's all part of our utilities infrastructure. But in order to make sure that our water and sewer systems work efficiently, the city is looking at making some changes. It's like your home. If you don't maintain your home over time, you have a lot more cost to repair it. And that's kind of where we're sitting right now. Assistant City Manager Kenny Schwab says the utilities infrastructure in Broken Arrow is aging and it needs to be repaired. For example, take a look at the city's Lynn Lane wastewater treatment plant. Our system is not working well. It's not very efficient, not very effective. Anytime we have a large rain, we can get sediment into the system at low-lying manholes. The sediment knocks out the degrader immediately. It's too small for the system that we have. Now back in the 80s, it was sized right, but it's too small today. In 1980, the population of Broken Arrow was just under 36,000. Since then, the city has tripled its number of residents, and the rapid population growth has put a lot of stress on our water and wastewater systems, most of which were laid during the 1960s and 70s. The impact on systems that fail is felt throughout the community, like the county line sewer main break that happened back in April and made news headlines. Crews had to close the intersection at New Orleans and county line for nearly three weeks, forcing drivers on a lengthy detour to work and school. It cost the city $160,000 in repairs and fines. With us now to talk more about our utilities infrastructure is Broken Arrow City Manager Michael Spurgeon. Uh, first of all, can you give us an overview of our utilities systems and uh, the condition that it's in? Yeah, well, first off, it's great to be here, Kristen. I'm very much appreciative of the communications department putting together this piece for our utility customers because utility department, the rates we charge, the service we provide are so important. Some of the most vital and most important services we provide our, our customers who are also our citizens. Having been here for about a year, obviously during my orientation, I spent a lot of time learning about our utilities. And what I found is that um, we do provide a, a tremendous amount of utility service to our customers. For example, we have two wastewater treatment facilities. We have a water production facility. Uh, we have tanks that store about 11 million gallons of water. And we have well over a thousand miles of water and wastewater lines that uh, wastewater lines eventually end up at the treatment plants. In my assessment of all of our infrastructure, I determined that respectfully we are in dire need of a major reinvestment in our utility infrastructure, uh, albeit water, wastewater, stormwater, and I've determined over the last six months based on engineering construction, working with Assistant City Manager Kenny Swab, that we need about $140 million worth of reinvestment in all of our utilities uh, that need to be completed probably over the next seven to 10 years. That's a lot of money we're talking about here. How are we going to pay for those improvements? Absolutely, it's a lot of money. Krista, $140 million worth of improvements over seven to 10 years is an extremely expensive proposition for, for our community and our utility customers. And we did a great deal of due diligence to make sure that those estimates, first and foremost, were accurate. And secondly, right now, we pay for utility services through the rates that we charge our customers for water, wastewater, and stormwater, respectively. And so what I felt we needed to do was bring in someone from the outside to help us who has the expertise to put together a rate model. A couple of years ago, the city engaged a firm called Black & Veatch to help us uh, create that model. And I knew of Black & Veatch, but had not worked with them in my career. And so I had a meeting with them to discuss what we were looking uh, to accomplish and felt very comfortable. They are a leading um, expert in the field of uh, putting together rate models and a consulting engineering firm, and so they were to help us in many ways. So we amended their contract to, to bring them back on board to help us put together a five-year rate model that took into consideration the revenues we would need for operations, which are day-to-day -day activities, our capital improvement program, the debt service on money we will need to borrow, and also to determine what we would need in terms of a reserve for the department to handle anything that's unforeseen that may come up. I mean, for example, we, we have water and sewer, so the weather dramatically affects 
uh, our revenues, and so you need to make sure you ever have, have a reserve. And they helped us come up with, I believe, a, a very uh, good model. And most importantly, they were an independent review uh, that goes in and looks at it, and they present the data, and then the mayor and council and the administration make some decisions based on the information they provide us. So we have experts helping us set the utility rates. How will our customers know, customers know that they're paying a fair rate? Well, having managed utility departments for most of my 30-year career, I learned a long time ago is that you need to be open and honest with your, your customers, and you need to make sure that what you're charging them for utilities is really what you need to pay for operations, capital improvements, debt service, and for your reserves. And when we built this rate model, I made sure that uh, Black and Beach understood that I only want us to be charging in the rates what we need to basically to pay for the services we're providing. And so I want to assure the, the citizens and our customers that what they're going to be paying, what they pay currently for rates, I should say, and what they'll be paying in the future is what we truly need to be able to operate the department. Why is it so important to maintain our utilities infrastructure? Is it tied in with economic development? Well, that's a great question, and, and this will take me just a second to explain this, is that when it comes to utility rates, utility rates affect everything from what you pay to your taxes to quality of life. Because if you think about how ingratiated, excuse me, the utility rates are into our everyday lives, whether it's water, whether it's sewer, whether it's stormwater. And so there isn't really any day that goes by that you're not using the city's utility department in some respect. And so when you think about it, it's very important that you have a utility department that has rates that are reliable, that have services that are consistent and cost effective, and that you have a system that's maintained because when citizens and businesses think about locating within your community, I assure you, somewhere in their decision-making process is what condition your utility department is in. Do you have good infrastructure? Can you, can you accommodate the business that I'm bringing here? Do you have that capacity not only today but in the future? So it's very important uh, for economic development and for stability that the utility department stays in real good shapes and that we maintain our assets. What happens if we don't change the rates? Well, unfortunately, if the rates remain the same, based on current projections, sometime in late 2017 or early 2018, we're simply going to run out of money to be able to pay for the, the services we provide, which means that we will have to utilize some of the sales tax money that currently is being used in the general government division of our, of our overall, overall organization. General governments would be defined as public safety, uh, parks and recreation are probably the two largest that come to mind. And to me, without having a stable rate model and then having to use sales tax, that would be detrimental to all of us as citizens of Broken Arrow. So what you're saying is the sales tax that would be used to fund core services like public safety would be shifted over to pay for utilities. Honestly, Chris, it could be. And that is a concern that both the council and the administration have because we certainly don't want to do anything to affect the current level, level of service that we provide our citizens. And that's why it's very important that we look at what the cost of service is for the utility department and that we present to the city council a rate model that will help sustain uh, the department for the next five years and then beyond so we can continue to provide outstanding services to the entire community. And my last question is, what's next? The next step will be, for, which is ongoing right now, is it's the administration led by Assistant City Manager Kenny Schwab and the Utility Department is finalizing uh, the recommendation, which they'll be presenting to me the week of October 24th. And then we will review that recommendation. And then sometime in November, I will be presenting to the City Council a proposed five-year rate model. The Council will take a look at that model and there will be a need for increases in our water, our sanitary sewer, and our stormwater rates to be able to pay for the current level of services and the debt service we will need for some of the capital improvements that I mentioned previously in, in that $140 million. The council will discuss it, debate it, and then they will call for the uh, creation of an ordinance to uh, pass the rates. And once they actually take action upon it, then we will send notice out to our customers that uh, on effective on a certain date, uh, these will be the new rates for the utility services that we provide. And then we'll, we will move forward accordingly 
with securing the funds that we need uh, to be able to start the capital improvement program to address the, the reinvestment in our in our infrastructure. All right, a lot of great information that we've uh, discussed today. I know it's gonna be very insightful for our citizens. And please don't hesitate to call us and ask, if, ask us any questions that you may have. The city manager's office can be reached at 918-259-8419. And be sure to check our website for updates on the utility rate study. Our website address is brokenarrowok.gov.